Jules from the craft room. Today I'm going to do um, Simplicity 1447, if you can see that, and I am doing the little bloomers down the bottom here. Now I am doing them slightly different, I'll put a picture up here, um, I am doing them without the frill at the bottom here. So I'm using the same pattern but I will just put elastic at the end um, on the sort of bottom of the leg um, and then um, it will make them longer and more like a bloomer. So um, I'm making it out of this corduroy I had left over from when I did the pinny and I've cut two pieces out like that and I'm going to sew them up now. It's quite a quick, quick make. Um, I've already done one, to, one for one of my um, grandkids and this is for the other granddaughter and um, I think it took about an hour and a half so it's, it's a, quite a quick make. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to take you along with me and um, hopefully um, put together these little bloomers. Um, the pattern is in sizes extra extra small to large and the large size is 18 months um, because I've cut it I've cut it generous I've given sort of an extra centimeter all the way round and because I'm doing the elastic at the bottom of the legs um, it's made it a little bit bigger so it should fit um, the 18 month to two year old one easily um, and the 12 to 18 month I'm making exactly the same size because they're very similar in size so yes yeah, so I'm going to get cracking with that now right so first of all I'm going to uh, overlock all around the edges to stop them fraying because it is um, it's quite a fraying sort of fabric so I'm going to do that now So that one's done all the way around. I'm just going to do the other one now. done. Right now I'm going to um, fold and hem along the bottom here. So I'm going to pin it, press it and then machine it. that is going to go in there there's plenty of room for the elastic right so I've pinned and pressed the bottom of the legs and I've because I've overlocked it I'm not going to turn it round over it's not going to fray like that so I've just turned it over enough so that I'll be able to thread the elastic through later to draw the legs in but I'm now just going to machine all the way along there pin the two pieces together so which is effectively one side to the other side and then that will become the shorts when I sew the crutch things together so I'm just going to machine those together and then we can do the waist back I 
tried using this last time and it's not it's not very good that one so I'm going to use this thicker one so, it does mean that I need quite a fat channel for it Measure that. So that probably is an inch and a quarter, which is three centimeters, and the actual elastic is just under an inch, which is just over two centimeters, maybe um, twenty-two millimeters. So need to do that all the way round. Do a few toker ones to hold it in place, but it should be okay because it's been pressed. And we must remember to leave an opening for the elastic along the back there. Right, we'll go and sew that then. All done, and we've left a hole for the elastic to go through. Right. Now I've cut the elastic, uh, my granddaughter's waist is 20 inches. So I've cut the elastic for 17 inches and then obviously there will be an overlap um, and that should be correct. Um, so now we're gonna thread it through there. So I, what I always do is I get a couple of safety pins and I put one in one end and one in the other end. Right, this end, because I don't want to lose it, I will attach it to here. And that way I can't pull it through when, when I start dragging it through and then I'm going to slide that one in there and it's just a matter of feeding it through really um, the only um, hiccup you'll come across is when we get to this bit here we might get caught in these so that could be a bit fiddly but otherwise it's quite quick just keep feeding it along right so now we've come to there and it's as long as this happens every time. Ah, oh, we're through. Yeah, we're through, so that's good. You see what I mean about it? So it's quite possible when I go to put them on here that they might be a bit loose, but then I can always make, tighten them up a bit. We are, so that didn't take long. So then we're going to and I tend to hand sew them um, just because if um, I need to make it smaller and bigger it's easier to undo so I would hand sew that over round but um, yeah so I'm going to do that quickly and then uh, we'll carry on doing the bottom part of the bloomers.
enough of the bottom ones. The bottom ones, we put the elastic in before we sew the legs together, the crutch together like that. So we're going to put the elastic in first and then machine it together. So we need to decide what length we need of these. Right, her thighs are 10 inches. 10 inches. Wow. Um, yeah, so um took three inches off before, but that was no eight inches maybe. Yeah, I think we're gonna go for eight inches. I can always make them smaller. So this time I'm going to need smaller pins to get through there. So do the same again. One to pull it through and one to hold it in place. So that's there holding it in place and then this one is to thread it through. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to machine backwards and forwards there. Then I'm going to machine backwards and forwards that and that will hold that elastic in place ready for when we put the legs together. Right, so I've done a bit of backwards and forwards to hold that elastic in place as you can see. And now I'm going to thread the next one through. So I've attached it there, I've put a pin on here and I'm going to thread it through. again quite quickly and I'm just gonna go backwards and forwards again either side and then we'll pin the crutch together right so elastics in in both of them um, oh, we just got a stray thread so now we're going to pin them together like that the crutch and then that will form the knickerbockers So we're just going to machine that now. So just need to press that and then put a label in it and then uh, little knickerbockers. Right, so they're finished. A bit fluff there. But these are the knickerbocker, the bloomers. And I put one of my labels in and I can get to the elastic up there if I need to to make it smaller but um yeah so um hopefully i'll put a picture in of um one or both of them wearing them 
but uh, yeah very pleased with that and that came out of three meters of black cord I got for 18 pounds which I've already made the pinafore dress for my 30 year old daughter and now I've made two bloomers and I've got um, a skirt to make for the three year old so um, pleased with that okay well thanks for watching please like and subscribe bye for now